Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Elle. I truly do hope everyone is doing well today. So I am out in Lafayette, Louisiana, and I am road tripping it. And I am in the woodlands of Arcadia subdivision. There are new homes being built in this subdivision. And I wanted to wrap up this trip with showing you an actual home tour from Lafayette, Louisiana. So I am trying right now to get into this model home and let's see. So I ran into this neighborhood by accident and I saw that there was some beautiful new construction going on. And um, let's see, I don't see any prices out here, so I can't tell what the price is, but I do like the structure. Um, out of the homes that I saw, this is not particularly my style, my favorite style, I should say, or my aesthetic, but hey, let's see. Oh, I just saw on the sign, it says close, be back at 1 p.m. So as you can see, it is locked. So let's go tour this neighborhood, guys. Let's see what's around. Look at this beautiful bayou and lake that I found. Yes, I am in my car and I actually had to pull over. I'm gonna try and um, look at the neighborhood and look at some of the homes, but I stopped here to look at this. I think this is so beautiful. Um, I haven't seen anything like this in Texas yet since I've moved to Texas, but I actually think it's so pretty. So this is kind of be like a vlog for me. It's a different type of video, a normal home tour that I usually do. But look at how gorgeous this is. Really beautiful nature. And I wonder if that tree was placed there or did it fall and they just left it there. And this is the other side. How gorgeous is this? Uh, look at the trees. I noticed that in Louisiana, a lot of the trees kind of car curve into each other, I should say. So, and then I decided maybe I should go tour the other parts of the neighborhood and see. So I ran into this home decor store called L. <laughs> L, yes, it's L. No, it's just called L. And I was trying to get in here, but unfortunately, the store is closed. Yes, there it goes. L established in 2005 and the store is closed, unfortunately. But I am gonna peer in the window here. Yes, um, can you guys see anything? I know it's the sunlight. It looks like it has some beautiful decor in here. And unfortunately, um, we only have one more day here, so I don't know. It's and it's gonna. It's a Sunday, actually. Um, so tomorrow is Sunday. It's actually Saturday. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in here, but I'm gonna try to look up the store online. But it's called Design and Decor L, and it's um it's a beautiful store indeed. The exterior anyway, and what they have inside looks pretty nice. So yes, there it is. Now I'm gonna go back to the neighborhood and just drive around. Look at the house next door. Now I thought this was a model home and look at me just walking up on somebody's property. I'm crazy, right? Oh my gosh. But let me show you. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. But let me show you guys the, um, the beautiful landscaping and exterior of this home. Look at this statue. I mean, it puts my house to shame. I wanna run home and just do the whole exterior of my house over. Look at how simple and beautiful these homes are. Yes, so I'm just driving around and taking a long look at how beautiful this neighborhood is and the homes. And a lot of them look like one stories actually. I don't see any two stories so far. So I'm back at the model home and the guy, I spoke to the sales representative, I should say, and he did let me in. And already I am seeing New Orleans or New Orleans vibes in here. That's definitely Louisiana vibes right there. So yeah, this is uh, interesting, I should say, the decor so far. What do you guys think? <laughs> And I see an exposed brick, which is charming. And the lighting and the decor is uh, traditional. 
and some sort of century going on there. It's definitely not myth, modern century, but it's definitely a period decor. And um, it's really nice. I like the couch and I like the open floor plan that it has. Yeah, it's a nice kitchen. So I'm going to start the tour over because I don't talk through home tours. I kind of like you guys to just sit back, relax, and enjoy it. This is an interesting one. I have to say I made a few fumbles. You're going to actually see me walk into a brick wall. Um, so anyway, stay tuned. Um, keep watching because I'm also going to go visit this um, restaurant called Fezzo's. And I want to show you guys the food. And again, I'll show you guys the neighborhood as I'm leaving.
So that home tour was the most interesting and unusual home tour that I have ever done, but the neighborhood is absolutely beautiful, and I'm glad I got an opportunity to take a look at some of these beautiful homes, well, at least the exterior anyway. So now it's time for us to go visit some of these restaurants and someone in Marshall's Home Goods told us about this place called Fezzo's and it's a seafood steakhouse and oyster bar and the menu looks scrumptious. I got the eggplant, um, fried eggplant. My husband got the Cajun seafood platter and then we shared this delicious bread pudding. It was to die for. So it's Sunday and I wanted to stop into this Marshall's Home Goods again and show you what they are working with. I have to say that this Home Goods was fully stocked and I did manage to pick up this beautiful piece of artwork here. And I think that's the only thing that I got from this Home Goods Marshall's. But the Tuesday morning that I showed you guys um, the haul on my channel, yes, you should check that one out if you didn't see it. And I also went into this store called Sofas and Chairs and the video is on. Um, on there as on my channel as well so yes let's go inside and take a look and see what they have i'll be moving on to another city soon guys i truly do appreciate you watching i hope you had a good time watching the home tour and seeing a little bit of the neighborhood in lafayette louisiana thanks a lot for watching i'll see you soon please like and subscribe Bye bye <laughs>